Bhagavad Gita, text 1.14 On the other side, Madhava and the son of Pandu, standing on a great swift chariot, jogged to white horses, blew their divine conscious. This is the first time Krishna is mentioned in the text of the Gita. The name Madhava carries with it the implication that Arjuna, who is also introduced in this verse, will be victorious, as Madhva is often rendered husband of the goddess of fortune. The syllable Ma indicates the goddess and Dava means husband. The epithet Madhva is particularly sweet. Mad is the Sanskrit root from which madhu, honey, is derived. It also indicates intoxicated passion and madness, madha. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami uses the term madhurya, sweet, in characterizing Sringara, rasa. The sacred eostatic rapture of conjugal love that drove Sri Chaitanya to spiritual madness. Within the appellation Madhava, both Krishna and his consort Radha reside, for there is no meaning to the husband of the goddess of fortune without the goddess herself. Madhava also means spring. Later, in chapter 10, Krishna identifies himself with spring, the season of love. Herein, Sanjaya indicates that the Gita is ultimately a doctrine of divine love that reaches its zenith in Radha's love for Madhava. The chariot of Arjuna is singled out here, although all of the warriors were also seated on chariots, Arjuna's chariot stands out in comparison, because it was a gift he received from Agni, the god of fire. It is thought to be invincible in the plane of mortals. The fact that Krishna was driving it only added to its invincibility.